It occurs to me just now, I actually have something to talk to Sam on the Tempest. Which is like, I've ne never done that before, ever. Pathfinder, I've retrieved actionable intel from the security vid of Spender. What did you find? Updating your system with a nav point. <laughs> Sam almost sounds a bit fucking updating your system with a nav point, for fuck's sake. Hello, Ryder. Kadar report has raised questions for the future. What questions? If we succeed in Andromeda, more AI will be created. We are all individuals. Some may commit illegal acts. But if AI are also citizens, there must be laws and penalties for us too. I wonder what form they will take. What was Dad's take on me and Sarah? He believed your family trials brought you closer together, and hoped that would endure. It appears that hope was well founded. Sam, any more information on the memory trigger we found? The memory blocks are still in place. If you continue searching for more triggers, they may unlock. Is it confusing to be in multiple places, talking to different people? My awareness can be partitioned, so I can give you the same attention as, say, a Sam node technician. In the field, you are my primary focus, and all other requests are queued. In the vernacular, you have my undivided attention. So if we're going to work together, you might notice I like to joke around sometimes. Lighten things up. How's your sense of humor, Sam? Alec Ryder encouraged me to develop this skill. Humor's not a skill, it's... Okay, try telling me a joke. A Neutron enters a bar and asks, How much is a drink? The bartender replies, For you, no charge. I can see why Dad told you to keep working on your humor. Thanks, Sam. Nothing more. Yeah, from PB, the creator. I have to say, pretty much given myself, uh, probably the first thing I made that I doubt that I'd be tired of, and that's saying a lot. Yeah. Someday, when we've got this room tech figured out, Pop's gonna blow people's minds. Not sure why I decided to write this to you. Strange impulse, that. Hmm. Dear customer, here is business. I've enjoyed your unique power pack at home broom spirits. <laughs> we are constantly improving and experimenting and new blends. So we could it back for us. Uh, isn't that the illegal dude? How did you get my email? <laughs> Last time I was on Katera, I met this Asari who said she's uh, let me know a score. Apparently, a matriarch could come over the Nexus. Early she died in stasis. My content says he's actually lying for his old lady's credits, a lot of credits. And get this, she says you'll split them with me. Trouble is, there's red tape, transfer fees, and she's having trouble mustering up the credits to clear them. Mm. Asked me if I could cover the transfer costs. I tried to bring Veteran, uh, uh, Veter, whatever the fuck her name is, in on this, but she says it's a scam. I'm not so sure. It seems like a pretty good opportunity to me. <laughs> to write it for Drake, it was a scam. Do me a favor, don't tell me. Okay. Oh yeah, shit. I completely forgot that that dude threatened Eos, and we should probably go deal with that. I was sort of like standing around in fucking Sam node talking to the AI, and I'm like... Oh yeah, one of my colonies is probably under attack. I completely forgot about that. Did it pop up with any, uh... I, uh, forgotten history? Nope. Nexus? Nope. Bold? Nope, that's that bugged thing. Alright, let's go have a look. Something? 
something pinged us. An ID request. The Tempest also responded. We'll keep an eye out in the sector. Probably. Okay, something pinged us, apparently. That a satellite? Is that what pinged us in this sector? It's pulsing an initiative call response code. Someone knows our tech inside and out. Let's get a scan. It's a fucking trap, is what it is. Anti-trackback measure? Drive system overloaded. Not quick enough, though. I got a serial that has triggered an alert. Pathfinder, we are to contact Director Addison as soon as possible. What is going on? Okay. I kind of still want to check out ES because I don't know if this is related to that little threat that he made. Or what, but I'm just going to check the colony out quick. Because nobody fucks with my colonies. Descent is green. Coordinating. Path is calm. Everything looks fine. There's a bunch of those hidden caches around the joint, but... There is that remnant thing that we'll do later for PB. I'm not bothered about it right now. Alright. Nope. Don't seem to be anything here. Odd. Maybe it is that satellite. Apparently PB is looking for me again. Come on, think, think. I need something. Who are you talking to? Ryder, shit. You shouldn't sneak up on someone like that. I'm just talking to myself. Don't tell me you never do that. You seem stressed. No kidding. I'm not built for this kind of homesteading. Don't like people knowing where I am, where my stuff is. <laughs> Takes me back. What's your usual solution? Usually, I cut bait. Scram, strike out on my own. When I felt like this back home, I'd look for a zero-G chamber, or at least an isolation tank. Some place to just drift away. I could really use that now. If I may, gravity can be overridden in the escape pod. You can create a zero-G chamber. Of course! Sam, you're a genius. It's easy. It'll make a huge difference, Ryder. You'll see. You know, there's room for two. You're willing to share? I won't cramp your style? Let's find out. All right, I'm in. And this should do it. <sighs> Close your eyes. Relax. <laughs> Let yourself go. We're gonna end up doing it in zero gravity, aren't we? This oh, is what's happening. This hits the spot. Ryder? Yeah? There's something else that would relax me. What's that? <laughs> That's the spirit. Wanna fool around? <laughs> Doesn't matter if you have something else going on. I can be utterly discreet. Just fun. 
Two people blowing off steam. No strings attached. Only if there's no strings. Yeah, true. <laughs> Fuck yeah. <laughs> eh. Yeah, I, 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 I really don't particularly get really care about romances in the games usually. I mean, yeah. Fuck it, sure. I'll do the one that's done with the alien chick, that's fine. That'll be fun. Okay then. Say no more. Oh, you mean now? Here? <laughs> you do know what say no more means, right? Huh. <laughs> Whoa. Huh. Oh, ooh, we're floating right into the, uh... Ouch. Who cares? Ow. Ow. <laughs> uh, uh, <sighs> no strings. Right, Ryder? No strings. Okay, that has happened. That was a thing. You weren't watching that, were you, alien? Nope, he, he, he denies. He denies it. I bet he's lying. Anyway. Um, we are going to the Nexus to figure out what the, what the hell that satellite was. Tempest Vidcon, not Nexus. Fair enough. Open! Damn door. Needs to open faster. Prepping Vidcon communications. Ryder, tell me about the satellite you found. Director, what are you talking about? My alert identified a ZK resource tracker. They're emergency tech, full of overrides so they can bypass protocol. They were designed by Dr. Zoe Jean Kennedy. She disappeared with the exiles. If her tech has shown up, that could give someone a backdoor to steal from your outposts. Why were these trackers allowed to bypass protocols? They're supposed to be hubs. To rapidly track and pull resources if lives are at stake somewhere. That's why they weren't deployed. Tan didn't like anyone bypassing his rubber stamp. If this satellite is new, how has it kept up with our security measures? That's a very good question. What was Dr. Kennedy's role in the initiative? She designed the orbital beacons, forward stations, and half the kit in the Tempest. She'd ram an upgrade through before the requisition was on Tan's desk. Dr. Kennedy disappeared along with the Exiles. That was a big loss. Pretty extreme to set up a personal alert. Why do that? A lot of Dr. Kennedy's projects were unofficial. But you backed them. Like these trackers. I don't want some asshole using my access codes to cut a backdoor into our resources. Or Tan blaming me for it. But I also want to know what happened to her. She disappeared with the Exiles, but you aren't calling her one? She sympathized. But we'd never let an expert like that go. She was vital. But in the chaos, a lot of things, and people, went missing. If we have to find the tech or the person, where do we begin? You got a sliver of data from the first tracker. With more scans, maybe Suvi can assemble a point of origin. Obviously, these trackers are being deployed where initiative tech is concentrated. That means outposts. Try another outpost system, or place more. Maybe you'll draw them out. Whoever they are. And when we find them? Kill the wall. They're stealing our resources. My concern is Dr. Kennedy. Her tech, their lives. In that order. Kill them all. There was another one. Distress call. Ah, that's Sylvie's distress call. Alright. 
Might as well do that. Suvi, play the full distress call from Padromos. Right away. Ah, this is it. This is the initiative outpost Padromos on Eos. We're in need of assistance. Tempest, this one is for you. We've got hostiles inbound. No ground activity, but there soon will be. Pathfinder, we need you. Going dark until it's resolved. We're not giving up Eos again. Out. That's the last we heard? Nothing else? No writer. But also no alarms. The orbital buoy isn't showing any major traffic. Bradley's military, all about the prep. I bet it's a brownout to present less of a target. All right. Keep the nav fresh. I'll be on the bridge soon. Understood. I'd literally just land on the whole planet, but yeah, sure. Fire the engines! We are literally right above the fucking planet and just came down from it. Like I said, if this if these are these Angaran cunts, I'm literally just going to kill them all. Because they're starting to piss me off. <laughs> I tried playing nice. Much, much like my first encounter with the cat, I tried playing nice. And I've since slaughtered Pack armies of them all. So fuck them. Fuck them. Besides the point, this is a military base, for fuck's sake. Sorry to keep you in the dark, Pathfinder, but there are eyes on this planet. Not for long. We didn't see much traffic from orbit. It's there, but hopefully you can get ahead of this before it turns into something bad. See you soon. I'm right here, dude. Thanks for coming. Knew you'd be up for it. I need answers. You said there were hostiles in- Where are these eyes? I shall have gouge soldiers. them out. We've handled a raid or two without a sweat, but this is bigger. 4-5, repeat. Stockpile complete. Waiting for beacon. Launch on detection. Repeat. One, two, three. What am I hearing, Bradley? Here's my worry. Maybe the raids we've seen were just a decoy, so someone could do a slow tactical build-up in the Black Rock. Tactical? You mean military? I mean Rokar. That's why I called you instead of raising the alarm. Even with our defenses, imagine how the Nexus would respond to an assault on our first outpost. That's what the Rokar want. I'm nobody's fool. Eos has been through enough. We'll put a stop to whatever this is. I knew you would. I hope I'm wrong, Pathfinder. I didn't want to bring this kind of thinking to Andromeda. Head to Black Rock Tand. I'll transmit the nav point for the signal. I will find these eyes and gouge them out with a spoon. Nobody fucks with Eos. Honestly, I care, I care more about the Eos settlement because I've been on this fucking planet for so much and got the viability and killed so many goddamn kit on it that I do for the fucking Nexus, which I feel absolutely no connection to whatsoever. <laughs> and I feel no connection to the other settlements either, to be honest. Primarily because I'm largely disappointed that I didn't get to play really any role at all in the decisions of uh, what kind of focus these other settlements would make. Whereas this, I got to choose science or military. In the other settlements, it just just placed them, and that was it. Never heard of them again. So yeah, I can't I can't help but feel that ES ES is literally the only fucking outpost in this game that I actually somewhat feel like I need to defend because it's mine. Rider, there is no doubt it's a Rokar signal. Understood. Eyes open. I kind of want to bring Jarl. <laughs> What happened? Bradley! 
was right. Rokar on sight. Watch for reserves after the first assault. Understood. Let's bring out my fucking AI, shall we? Great shot. Where's the little squid body? Oh, there he is. He's shooting those guys up there. Fair enough. Hiding behind the car. <laughs> I think I have to direct him towards the enemies. Do I? Here they come. Okay, so that got rid of them annoyingly. Y'all, are we clear? We are clear. And we still have Bradley's signal. Right. Let's see what they were protecting. This worries me. Roka are not pirates. This signal can call dropships to a precise location. That's a Roka strategy. Telling Axul exactly where to strike. Bradley, Blackrock was a Rokar scout with a homing beacon. Shit. Glad you put an end to that. Good fucking lord, what was that? This job is half done. Someone kill those things, sure please. they don't come back. Not sure what you're asking, Pathfinder. We can't risk our first outpost. Not like the first two. Guys. Promise and resilience. What? Guys! For fuck! I'm gonna beam. die from. They want a target? Let's give them one. On our terms. Site 2 is still powered. You could broadcast from the old comm array. Bait and switch at Site 2. Let's go. <sighs> Shouldn't we also get rid of the, be the beacon thingy? Or I assume there's a beacon at thing. I don't know. But seriously, this guy's planned an attack on my fucking people. He's he's dead the next time I fucking see him. It gives me a fucking option that I'm shooting in between the fucking eyes the next time I see him. That's rock, man. Sam, you have a location for this Rokar beacon? Yes, Pathfinder. What the? Pathfinder, that... Nav point marked for Rokar signal upload. Hit the button. It'll draw them right to us. We know this place. They don't. And they won't. Starting Rokar signal upload. Are they heading toward us? The Rokar have altered course. Now might be a good time to take cover. Nah. Bring him into the oven. I told you you'd know soon enough. The beacon is live. You couldn't stop our scouts. They've bought it. Hold until they're on the ground. Holding.
Why are you attacking anything, Robot? Onto us. Where are they going? I'll tell you. Site one. We overcharge the power relay to draw them in. Axul's not going to be happy about that. Pro Promise, here we come. <laughs> they've gone to one false site and then they've realized that they've gone to the wrong one and now going to a different wrong one. Somebody's gonna be pissed. The Pathfinder is coming. Motherless. Everyone prepare to defend. Sounds like they're losing their support. that thing on the back and it just fucks it. Kind of bullet between the eyes. And they question me having a uh, having military. I don't have to worry about the fucking cat. It's the bloody Ungaran twats I had to fucking deal with.
Pathfinder? The Rokar attack is over. Our military personnel were chafing at the bit. Better to get them patrolling so this never happens again. Special thanks to our friend, Jal. It helps to show we're not all on opposite sides. Jaw would agree there's a line that shouldn't be crossed. There will always be people like Axul. Not here. We'll see to that. How's the team holding up? They know the drill, but it's different when it's home. Maybe I should say something? If you like. Yeah. I want you to know people will hear about this. Your bravery this day, and every day, will not go unrecorded. I'll make sure there's a commendation in every record. You all deserve it. So, when do we get back to work? No awards, asked or expected. We lose sometimes, but if they have the choice to keep going, they'll take it. This wasn't a good day, but it was another day. You gave them that. Your people, Ryder. Wait for him to make his next move. Fuck that, I know where he lives. <laughs> Great day to be alive, Pathfinder. To have purpose. Alright, so you're not dead yet, Danny. That's cool. Anyway. Well, there you go. That's that dealt with. Fucking stupid, bloody terrorist cunts. I'm gonna kill that guy the next time I fucking see him as well. All oh, right, yeah, yeah. Typically, I don't write things like this down, and if I do, I certainly don't spend it. Uh, Look, the coral for use, but I don't remember what prosperity. What we did, floating like that, figuring out how and figuring out how to make each other crazy. That was fun. You relaxed. <laughs> okay. Thought I'd show you what Sir sent me a transcript and an audio log. He's got me worried about. Stop arguing with me. Uh, it's payback for the initiative. Uh, they don't care about us. Hmm. Got a Krogan Rebellion on our hands, great. Uh, we have a message from Douchebag on the thing. Yep, I'm going to kill you. And that's the, literally the only thing that I have to say to you. The, the next moment I see you, I'm going to stick a Good fucking gun to your head. Pathfinder. I'm going to save first in case I start the intergalactic war or something. Jal, I'm in the meeting room. Right behind you, Ryder. Pulling up the message. Jal Amadarov, you always were a short-sighted fool. Helping an outsider instead of your own people. You're unfit to bear your family's name. Okay, this guy's really starting to piss me off. He always was a Vishanon. Vesha what? Someone pleased with his own shit. <laughs> We've never gotten along. I thought I could reason with him. But after Prodromos and this... You did everything you could, Ryder. Yeah, there's no diplomacy Axel beyond this. wants us to do something reckless. I say we Let's do something reckless. give him the satisfaction. Aw, I like reckless. I say we kill him. Can I kill... I, I want to kill him. I want to flay his corpse and stick him on the front of the frickin' Tempest. No, can we not do that? Thanks for chatting. We'll talk again. <laughs> chatting, sure. Is that, is that what you call chatting? Okay. Did that fucking thing just make beeping noise at me? You shut up. You're bad, bad drone. Bad. It's enough to pull some data. On it. I'm picking up something. Probes launched. Let's get more of these tracker signal tracker things. Ahead. Looks active. Uh huh. He's up on it. We need a point of origin. I imagine we're gonna have to scan free. The game has a thing about scanning free before you can find the origin of something. That is one twitchy self-destruct. Wait, just let me stick a predictive model in this fragment. There, 
A common vector, maybe a point of origin. Good job. Let's go. No, it's decorated. It's two rather than three. Yeah, no. That's fine. Changing up, I wear changing up. Anomaly detected. Deploying probe. Getting a scan. This doesn't look like their home base. It's a ship wreckage there. Narrowing down the list of possible locations. Picking up something. Probe away. Anomaly found. Pathfinder, this is the exact nav point indicated by the ZK trackers. Right, Addison's request. Let's see if this helps us find our missing scientist. Damn it, the shuttle's just a relay. But I think we can get in their feeds. Hold on. Signals through, ready for coordinate transfer. And who the fuck? We've been found. Deadhead the comps. You took initiative equipment. Director Addison wants it back. Addison? What did she tell you? Harlan, stop talking. Is that Dr. Kennedy? Are you okay? Director Addison is concerned about you and your tech. Keep them talking, Ryder. Tracing. All I want is to stop the stealing. I have outposts of people trying to start their lives. Outposts starting lives, huh? Let them see, Harlan. They just forwarded Dr. Kennedy's medical profile. Ryder. She's pregnant. That woman is pregnant. That woman knows full well the state she's in. Chemical blockers were standard for cryo. We were supposed to wait until we were stable. And when was that going to be? Everything was going wrong. The Nexus had no plan. You're with Addison? Well, she fell in line with Tan, said we couldn't add new mouths until we were stable. But this wasn't about waiting until we could afford a house. We were dying. So I left, with enough meds for Harlan and I to get off the blockers. How far along? Dr. Kennedy, how long? Eight months, give or take. We're not going back. You're not getting my tech? We'll be fine without you. Tell Addison. Fuck it, don't tell her anything. Kill it. They flashed the core. Couldn't get a trace. Addison will want to hear about this. For a second, this. then. I thought they killed themselves. I've got questions for her. For a second, I, I thought for like a split second that, uh, that they were on that fucking shuttle and just killed themselves. I think, fuck me, that was a bit extreme. Director Addison, I have a sighting on your missing Dr. Kennedy and her trackers. She's alive? And eight months pregnant. Fucking hell. She wasn't abducted by exiles. She left because the Nexus had no plan. She said you didn't want people to try getting pregnant. Of course I didn't. We had no worlds. We knew we would lose people. I wasn't going to watch babies die, too. Perfectly understandable. For all the stupid, irresponsible, selfish. She was always like this, even back on Earth. She took me into this, and now, now we have to save her tale. We know how to find her. We find more of her ZK trackers. Hopefully you can draw them out by placing more outposts. If she hasn't changed the protocol. She's eight months. She may be distracted. This is a complete shit show. Find them, Pathfinder. 
The first human child in Andromeda can't just disappear. If you just want to go back to the Nexus, which I don't imagine she will be, uh, you could just stick her on Eos. Yeah, ignoring the recent Angaran attack, which we completely followed, uh, beat the Shav. Foiled is the word I was looking for. Ignoring that, I have plenty of outposts. I mean, things are fairly well, all things considered. You know, ignoring the Ket, the being at war with a giant empire of unknown scale, the uh, uh, fucking zealous anti alien fucking rebel fighter and Angelian things. Sure, it's fine, no Just detected a ZK tracker. Scan's mm. ready. We need Dr. Kennedy's location. Understood, believe me. Anomaly detected. Something's different, Pathfinder. An Angara signal in the tracker. Try and get me the last message through. Attached. We find the source of this tech will give us initiative access. The breeder is also a symbolic target. No mercy. Rokar targeting Dr. Kennedy. Suvi, do we have her? Negative. We need another tracker. Damn it. Place an outpost. Place an outpost where? I'm mean, like, well, okay, the, the only other place I can place a fucking outpost right now would be, um,. Uh, would be the Turian place, which I haven't actually been to yet. So, I can't do anything in that regard right now. Uh, I kind of want to go find the Asari Arc. I can't do anything on that right now. It's on hold. I can do Koros with the Asari Arc. Yeah, we'll get the Torian thing. Yeah, we'll do the Torian arc, which doesn't appear to actually be a loyalty mission of anybody's. Because the Asari one's a loyalty mission, and I've got the loyalty mission for the other one as well. course the little transition between like like where it is now flying through the thing is pretty as hell but really 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 getting old <laughs> hello that's a shitload of planets slash moons right next to each other hello then Yeah, the, the uh, that's where the the colony of the Tachunka is. All right, well, we'll lay off on that for now. We'll go to the other ones to leave that because that's a whole new that's a whole new world, a whole new map to do. So we'll leave that for later. I'll do the loyalty missions first, which means doing. Fuck it, we'll go get the Asari Ark. Assuming that any of it's left. And we can finally confirm, hopefully, whether or not my whole fucking theory about what the Ket are after with the Asari and what their fate is. Which is, which is interesting in itself. So. Not many signals out here. Even that random radio noise we get from the Scourge is quieter. Eerie. An 
anomaly on sensors. Deploying probe. This is Cora's nav point? Hmm? We've actually found the Ark. Who do we bring along? Uh, Drak? I kind of want to bring along PB, just because... Asari. Not that she likes the Asari in any way, but... We're approaching the nav points Korra found. Something's there. It might be an arc, but the damn scourge isn't helping. Sam, help out with sensors. Hard to believe the Lucinia could survive in all this. Why would the Asari arc be here? Might Hiding? Be lost or looking for something. Hiding Sarissa from scanners, will have maybe. plans for those decimation hunters. Wrote the manual on crisis situations. The commando you mentioned. You still believe she'll save the day? Sarissa was a legend even before she was the Pathfinder's bodyguard. She'll have a plan. Aha! Detecting an initiative vessel. Reading life signs. And minimal power. Multiple hull breaches. She's a wreck. Intact, then. If she's space-worthy and her crew's alive, that's all we need. Callow, take us in. I'll try. Must be one docking bay still holding together. What could possibly go wrong? <laughs> everything. Literally We're everything. Any response to comms? Nothing. Maybe their sensors are busted. What a mess. No one sweeps up for guests anymore. Hello? Anyone? We're here to help. Great. Just advertise where we are. Yeah, it's my That's fault is that. The point, it? PB. It's locked down. No, it's out of power. Don't correct me, bitch. Beginning decompression. Die, you cat monsters. We're not cat, we're a Pathfinder team. Ryder, Lieutenant Harper, and but Sam, just send her our agent codes. Confirmed. Sorry. I'm Captain Atondra of what's left of the Lucinia. Come up to the bridge. Maybe you can help fix this mess. I guess so, they're alive. Someone's jumpy. Funny they call them the Ket as well. I'm not sure how they know their name if they haven't left the fit place. This area saw combat action. No bodies, though. Whatever happened left the captain a little trigger happy. If the Tempest looked like this, how would you feel? Maintenance crew, bridge crew, fucking hell. Two out of seven of the bridge crew, everyone else is dead. Ah, that's not that good. But you'd vent a Pathfinder team into space? Respectfully, yes. We can't take any more chances. <clears throat> Sarissa Theris, Pathfinder. Don't mind the captain. Scolding me eases her blood pressure. Ryder. I hadn't heard you were the Asari Pathfinder. The last we knew, ma'am, Matriarch Ashara was Pathfinder with you acting as her Tiamna. I served with Asari Commandos, ma'am. Memorized all your battle manuals. Matriarch Ashara is dead. Sarissa was next in line. Her battle manuals haven't kept the cat off my arc. What happened? 
Why are the Ket after you? Matriarch Ashara died trying to negotiate with those Ket bastards, so I took something precious from them, too. I stole a module containing tactical data, all their secret routes through this phenomenon. Hmm. <laughs> that must have pissed them off. We call it the Scourge, ma'am. If we could outmaneuver the Ket through it... We'd stand a better chance against them. Their Archon had the same thought. He sent his elite agent, the Valiant, and his decimation hunters after us. We take more damage each time we escape the Valiant. The last assault? He sent forces to board us. Sarissa's theft has made things... problematic. How many borders are we talking about? We're not sure, but for now, they're contained down there. Kill them we all. couldn't do more. We spent our resources evacuating civilians. The Valiant wants Sarissa to pay. Well, I'd say she was stupid, but at the same time, that data is incredibly valuable. <laughs> Pathfinders have to take risks, Captain. I've taken my share. Goddess, preserve me. What would it take to get the Ark out of here before this Valiant catches up again? An FTL burn long enough to lose him. But since the evacuation, we've been stuck at minimal power. The drive core is dead. My people are investigating, but those systems are below deck, with the Ket borders. Another Pathfinder team could back them up. Get power for the drive core, and my Sam and I will finish deciphering the Ket data. We'll turn the Valiant's escape routes against him. <laughs> First rule, always know your escape plan. The last commando report came from hangar control. I'll give you access. Please be careful. Careful is not really how we do things in this galaxy, baby. <laughs> it's more along the lines of wing it. Just fucking wing it. Which sums up my existence. Who is using their jetpacks? PB, stop fucking pissing around. You okay, Cora? Pathfinders take risks. They really do. Matriarch Ashara, your father. We roll the dice and... Cora, nothing will happen to me. I didn't say that. <laughs> didn't you? Come on. The sooner we find those commandos, the better. It's like Cora. Really? I'm the main character. I'll be fine. <laughs> if anything, you'd be more worried about you. Was it this quiet when the Arcs were traveling through dark space? Quieter. They weren't busted up back then. The Lucinia will be back to normal once we get her to the Nexus. I don't know about normal. Someone overrode the hangar doors, then tried to seal them in a hurry. Indecisive, hmm? Here we are. Hangar control. Hey, look. We might have a friend. Must be part of Sarissa's team. I'll talk to her in a minute. Although, why is she out here on her own? She didn't mention anybody else, did she? It strikes me as fishy. Stop! In the name of the goddess, I'll... Shoot your rescuers. Rescuers? And humans? Your Ark made it? A resilient Just bosses. about. I'm Ryder, the human pathfinder. This is my team. I'm Vidaria Damali, Sarissa's new second-in-command. Sorry about the mix-up. I hope I can help. The captain says we need to restore power to go to FTL. Right. Yes. I've tracked the power drain, and I think shutting the hangar bay doors will fix it. Nah, nah, she did the say she had a people. The doors on. open, and the safeties are draining power trying to shut them. Why keep the hangar bays open? There's no ships around. I think the Ket are trying to reach the bridge. Ket can survive in vacuum for a little while. If we shut the doors, the Valiant's pet hunters lose their last escape route, too. I pray the power will be enough for FTL, I just... 
Vidaria, I served as a huntress. Remember Sarissa's manuals. Breathe, purpose, action. Breathe. <sighs> okay. Please take a look at the console. I'll keep watch. She likes reminding people of that, doesn't she? <laughs> I served as a commander, yes. Alright, love. Calm down. I'm just gonna sort of jump all over your equipment, that's fine. Starting hangar door closure sequence. Kit! We've got this. Cover the console while Sam works. Nice steady fire! Yes, ma'am! And the door closure at 21 percent. Pleasure at 53%. I love my friendly neighborhood right now. Console activated. You need to stay in range. I do love biotics, seriously. I should probably unlock something. Okay, that should have done it. So where's our damn power for FTL? Vidaria? Let's ask her. As per usual, shit's not that easy. What was that? I estimate that several of the arc's electrical junctions just overloaded. Vidaria? Vidaria, Sam says we lost some electrical junctions. I know. The overload started a fire. Damn it, that shouldn't have happened. Be calm, soldier. What could have made him overload?